going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Bob Spillsway. Today is DLC day. The Antonio Carrera DLC is out now. And we've got eight modders to talk about today. Pretty easy day. So let's check it out. Let's start off today with the testing list. Or at least I would have started today with the testing list if there was an update to it when I was recording this video. I will leave a link in the description for you guys to take a look at. It's just titled testing list. So feel free to check that out periodically throughout today to see what Giants have been up to. Today is DLC day. The Antonio Carrera Pack DLC is out now. Well, at least it's out for PC and Xbox players. PlayStation releases are based on your region, and I have no idea when it's going to be out for the United States. I have been told whenever Sony decides to release it, it'll be out. So just keep checking back here on the channel for that release. I'll let you guys know when it's out. For Xbox and PC players, I've already made a video showing off the DLC, including how to download it and the slot counts. For those of you on PlayStation, you can actually check out Mr. Silly P's video that he did earlier today. As he goes through everything, it shows off all of the stuff for the DLC on the PlayStation 5. Leave that link below. We are one day away from Connect Monix's announcements for the Yan or Gen Pack. They've got a preview up on YouTube right now, which is dropping at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. In that video, we should be seeing equipment coming with the pack as well as the release day for it. So make sure you check that out if you're interested. Someone else with new equipment is Polycal Modding, who after the recently released FarmTech Juris 2000 trailer, have a new tractor mod, the Fiat 420. We've seen many different Fiat tractor mods over the past few years years from different modders, but never this specific version, meaning that this is a brand new mod to the series, and with Polycount modding behind the wheel, you know it's going to be a good one. Schultz Modding has three more mods with Giants awaiting testing. With the help of Fade to Black, they've got their Seed Runner, Transportable Tank, and Nurse Tank. They are meant to all be used together or separately to create your own unique nursing trailer to get seed and fertilizer, whatever else you need, to the field or wherever else you need it. A really cool and unique mod setup, which allows players to do kind of their own thing and make the most of their setup by using any trailer that you want instead of being stuck with something that just doesn't work for you. Universe Simu Modding have posted a few more pieces that are coming with their Perard pack, including the 46 model, which is a very interesting auger wagon. We also have this one, which might just be my favorite out of the bunch. I mean, come on, it's got tracks. What's not the love? And thirdly, it looks like we're gonna have a header trailer as well. There could also be other mods coming with this pack that we haven't talked about yet, which we've already talked about a bunch, but it's looking like it's gonna be a pretty busy and full pack. I love it. Universe Simu Modding do say that they think it should should be out sometime in April, but we'll have to wait and see about that. North Modding Company is back with us today to show off another mod that they've been working on, and it's finally with Giants for testing, the Timber Carrier. This is pretty self-explanatory, but basically you load it up with logs and then strap them in and attach it to a wheel loader, just like any other attachment would be. You can then move the logs in bulk from point A to point B through that wheel loader, but I can imagine it's going to be very, very heavy. So. Be careful. 40 Modding says that their high spec 5000 Tri S model is almost ready to be put in game. This is one that I would not expect to see anytime soon on Mod Up or consoles or any of their stuff really, as they have yet to release anything for console players in FS22, but have a handful of mods out for PC via their website. 40 Modding was a huge part of Farming Simulator 17 and 19. But it looks like their interest in mod hub and giants in general has diminished greatly compared to previous games. I will keep you guys updated on big stuff and releases from them, but don't expect to hear too much from 40 modding going forward unless things start to change. Yesterday, FSG released the update to Chainsaw Valley for all platforms, and with that, they say it will likely be the final update for the map. No further changes are planned unless any game breaking bugs or glitches are found. But if you found any of those, make sure you report those to FSG over on Facebook. I'll leave that link below. And lastly, today, Mappers Paradise are back with us with a new video showing off a modified version of the Convey All 1690, which has a laser on top of it. Y'all, put a laser on everything. It'll show you exactly how to load up the grain bins on it. Wait for it. On Woker Farms as well. Yeah, we talked about this a little bit, but Mapper's Paradise is hard at work on Woker Farms for Farming Simulator 22 for all platforms, and that is great news. They haven't said exactly if this auger is going to be on the map, maybe it would be a mod, or maybe it's just something they're using for testing. Either way, it's really cool to see what you could do with this game. And it's also really cool to see what you could do with these segues to the outro. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, but most of the time they're a solid eh. Just like, just like every episode of Farm Sim News. Say just like twice. The links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. There's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So 
Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on the world of farming simulator well guys that is going to be it for today's video hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure those notification bells are on as well that way you never miss videos like this one here on the channel i'll be tough hope you have a great day we'll see you later You guys see this door right here? That goes to my kitchen downstairs. I locked a vacuum cleaner in there. It keeps running around.